Hi, this is Bobby from Dig Coding, and today I'm going to show you how to implement uh, Django's OTP library into your Django project. So this library allows you to add another level of security to your admin page. Um, so uh, super users have to log in with not only their password, but also a one-time password um, that gets um, renewed every 30 seconds. So let's jump straight into it. I'm going to code this from scratch because it's quite a small project. So I've already got a um, virtual environment there already, so I don't need that. So what we need to do, we need to um, pip install, no, we need to work on, we've called this did Django, did Django admin OTP. And with pip install, Django, Django OTP and QR code. They're the three packages that we're going to need. Now, I've already got them installed anyway because we've got a virtual environment when I was playing around with this before. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to um, we need to start a project. So it's Django admin start project did Django admin OTP. Great, let's cd into that. OTP. And what we need to do, we need to open, I use Sublime Text my text editor, uh, which I always do in these tutorials. So I'm going to open a folder. Admin OTP. There we go. There's the blind text. We'll just open that. So the uh, the docs for the Django uh, library OTP are here. Is here. So what we need to do, we need to add some some bits to the installed apps, and we also need to add this uh, middleware. Now I'll just copy that to our settings.py file. So this is our project settings.py. We are not, we don't need to import OS because we're not using static files for this, but we do need to add that middleware underneath authentication. And we need to, what do we need to import? Uh, we need to import Django OTP. And we also need to import the, this one here, OTP, TOTP, one time password. So I'll just copy those straight from here. Just double check that you haven't got any. Um... There we go. Save. What else do we need? Do we need anything else in there? Let's I'm going to change that to GB, as I always do. Uh, and all we then need to do is we need to change the URLs around a little bit. So on here, we need the user model. So Django's uh, built in user model. So it's from Django.contrib.auth.models. Um, Import user. We also need the um, OTP admin site. So from Django dot OTP admin import OTP admin site, and then we need from Django underscore OTP plugins OTP. TOTP dot models import TOTP device. Then we want to do, we want to write a class here called OTP admin. We want to bring in OTP admin site and just pass. And we've got a few variables here with a few um, lines of code we need here for the admin site. So it's admin site, and this is the admin site that we're configuring for the extra layer of security. So admin site equals OTP admin site, and we're gonna call this OTP admin. Then we have admin site dot, and we need a register. Uh, this is user. 
and then admin sites register TOTP device. Then on the URL patterns, we want to have two different admins. We'll shut one down once we've configured this. But we want Django admin. And we want, so this is the built in Django admin page, and this will be the, um, the new admin. So this would be admin underscore site URLs. And save. Come back to the command prompt here. So you just make sure we don't need to, we might need to migrate. So it's python minus.py make migrations and probably say we haven't got any. Oh, here we go. So a spelling mistake. Let's try that again, shall we? Haha, <laughs> here we go. Django OTP. From Django HP admin, I've got a full stop there instead of an underscore. This is fun. This is why I don't do code alongs. <laughs> this is why I build the app in the first place and then do it. Great. Great. Then what we want to do is run a server. Open up a browser once that's all kicked in. Um, incognito and go local host. That's looking fine because we've only got admin pages. So we want Django admin. First of all, let's create a super user. So break that. Yeah, super user. Add a password. Try that again. Great. Now, if we run a server, that'll allow us to log in to the Django. Right. Okay. This is the Django ad, Django admin page. You can see here we've got the uh, one-time password. Um, a model here so TOTP devices and we want to add the device so we've just added a user which is Bobby S name you can call this let's just call it Bobby S confirmed for this you will need sorry for this you will need um, an authenticator so I'm using Google Authenticator which is an app that you can just get on your iPhone or your Android device and what it means that you need to do is you need to save this so we've now got this uh, object here, but it's come up with a QR code. So if we click that, that we blurred out on your screen. But if I open up my authenticator, I actually just open up my um, camera. Here we go. And it will redirect me to the URL that is on the screen there. Uh, do we want to add Bobby S into my authenticator and it's come up with uh, a six digit code now the six digit code you can see those there see that those six digit codes they renew every 30 seconds so that's the extra level of security that you need for one-time passwords so if we log out of here and we go back into actually not Django we want to now go into our other admin panel that we configured it's now got this extra field here called one-time password token so if we add Bobby S my password, you will still need that, but now it'll ask for your one-time password token. Now, I don't know if you can see at the bottom there, but it says 253536. Which one click there? 253536. Login. There we go. We're in. So that now works. So I guess what we need now need to do is we need to go back to the app here. We can now close down the Django admin. That will stop anyone from entering into an admin panel without that layer of security. If ever you need to create a user and then add this, you can re-fire re up that URL, log in, add the user to the, um, to the admin panel, and then download, sorry, I'm talking gobbledygook here. So the reason I've 
commented out the Django admin is because now all we want is the admin panel with the extra layer of security. If you want to add another super user or a staff member, then you would uncomment out that line there, the URL line. You would log in or create a user and then you would create a one-time password object as well. Get the QR code, give it to your employee and they can sign in using the admin panel then in the same way we just did. And then as soon as you don't need it anymore, you can just close that down. It, that's, that's probably the easiest way of implementing one-time passwords into a Django admin. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, please like, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.